guys, welcome for a new tip. Um, today I'm gonna talk about northern lights. A lot of you guys are asking me how to uh, capture the northern lights, uh, also known as uh, Aurora Borealis. Um, can you do it with GoPro? Is, is um, the main question you, you do to me. I'm gonna say yes. I say yes, I'm gonna show you. You will see some picture now. You, you, see some picture that I've taken in Iceland about the Northern Lights with my GoPro Hero 5 and GoPro Hero 4 Black. Um, yeah, basically with the Hero 4 Silver Black and uh, the Hero 5 you can take a picture of uh, Northern Lights. Why? Because you can use the long exposure in the night mode or night, night lapse mode on your GoPro. Mm. First of all, um, you must be in a place very very uh, dark to see so it's better in the middle of nowhere in the mainland uh, in, in a big uh, not in the city not in the city that's, uh, that's it i take it even, even in the city because it was very strong as you can see on this picture of Reykjavik which are my recommendations first of all uh, we talk about the ISO highest is the ISO uh, more bright will be your picture so if it's very dark you need a higher ISO I use ISO 800 for most of my picture you can even use ISO 400 if the area is not very dark then we talk about white balance you can use a lot of uh, uh, different uh, uh, settings on that there is white balance uh, for example 3000 K is very uh, is very bluey so it's more blue the picture but the northern lights are green so I'm gonna recommend a bit more like 4000 5000 or native native is the best one to edit so if you want to do a post-production edit that I recommend you you can use native I use native for most of my picture exposure is 30 seconds usually you can even use 20 if it's a, uh, a bright uh, uh, scenario for example if it's quite early in the morning like four or five near the dawn you can even use uh, um, a bit less uh, exposure like 20 seconds for example but I recommend 30 usually so you can even show the stars behind the northern lights uh, what's more, the sharpness I recommend low because you can work, you can work more in post production and you, you don't have a lot of noise. Then we have uh, color. Color I, I recommend to do flat if you want to do post production, as I recommend on my past tips. If not, you can use GoPro color. It's a bit more saturated, but you have less information for editing in post production. These are my recommendations. Of course, if you use a night lapse, it's the same. It's the same settings, but you use a shot continuous. So 30 seconds after your camera shot 30 seconds, she restarts without 30 seconds. So it's continuously 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and 30 seconds. Of course, if you do a time lapse, you need a lot of time. For example, my time lapse, as you can see, is a time lapse for more than two hours. I recommend you course to use the power bank if you use a long time uh, and long night lapse. If you have any question just comment in below I'm very happy to answer every question about Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. It's over today. Bye bye from London. You. Okay.